Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As promised, Irrigation and Sustainable Land Development ISUD is offering a free course on uh, geographic information systems and the remote sensing for hydrological application or models. So you are with me, Stanley Zimadzi. You are one and only. Okay, so before we begin, uh, you need to download QGIS. That is quantum geographic information systems because that is one we're going to use uh, in this entire course. So you can download QGIS by searching on Google for QGIS.org. So once we have done that, you will see uh, different versions of QGIS uh, <coughs> right here. So we will select which one you use, but in this course, we'll be using uh, QGIS 3.0. Three. Okay, so before we go deep into our core objectives, I think it is necessary for us to have a quick uh, overview of a, a, quick, a quick introduction of a geographic formation uh, systems for quantum. That is it, uh, our graphic, graphic user interface. So like uh, many commercial GIS applications or softwares, QGIS has got a, uh, a standard system menu. This is where you find the toolbars like uh, the menu, uh, the selection toolbar, the identity features, and the like. So uh, on your left hand side, that is where you see the layers panel. On the layers panel, that is where all the lay layouts that you're working on your map uh, are displayed. So there's also a browser, which is on top of your layers panel. This is where you, it's like a quick uh, tool for you to find the data that you like to work on. So uh, you can as well choose to cancel it. Uh, if you choose to, to bring it back and then you go to view panels and the select it, it will come back again. So this is the map canvas. This is where all the map layouts that you're working on are displayed. So uh, as you can see, this is a processing toolbox. In order for it to come, you go here, this, you check for it, and then it uh, appears. So as you can see, the processing toolbox has got uh, many features, like the GDO, where there is the last analysis, last conventions, all the things that we need when we are preparing data for hydrological applications. They are right here. So we have uh, the grass, the saga tool, all those things, all those things you find them at the processing toolbox so right here this is where you find the on the fly this is where you see the CLS for your project uh, the CLS that is the coordinate leaf system uh, I think for now that is 